Eating exotic foods is a good way of trying something new and breaking the monotony of your daily cheeseburger. However, some of these foods can be dangerous and sometimes end badly. Hello and welcome to the Top 10 Must Know Channel. I'm Bruno Edward and in today's video, we're going to talk about 10 of those foods that can indeed be pretty deadly. Not even in your wildest dream, you would think that such a popular dish can kill you. So, stand by to find out what it is with all that said and done. And before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10, the Aki Fruit. In Jamaica the Aki Fruit is a mixed blessing, though originally native to West Africa, it migrated to Jamaica in 1778 and is now the country's national fruit. It is one of the main ingredients of Jamaica's national dish. That dish is called ackee and salt fish, which is prepared with salt, cod and sautéed onion, scotch, bonnet peppers, tomatoes, and boiled the ackee fruit when prepared properly. The dish is perfectly safe to consume and enjoyed by many. If improperly eaten however, can cause what has been dubbed the Jamaican vomiting sickness, which, other than the self-explanatory systems, can lead to coma or, well, death. Unripe ackee fruit contains a poison called hypobelly sun, so the preparation must be done carefully to wait until the fruit's protective pods turn red and open naturally. Once open, the only eatable portion is yellow which is always surrounded by toxic black seeds. This thing is the fugu fish of fruit. Only one good part and the rest is going to kill you. Number 9, the African Bullfrog. Now, the African Bullfrog may not look very appetizing, but it is considered a delicacy in Namibia. A bullfrog dish can be considered the country's specialty. While it is pretty common for people to eat deep-fried frog legs in Namibia, they beat them and eat them whole. Well, eating frogs is normally safe. The danger lies when eating the premature African bullfrog. Eating these prepubescent frogs can lead to painful urinary inflammation caused by the millions of bacteria that they carry. And aside from that, some of these frogs carry a toxin with enough concentration that, when eaten, can lead to kidney failure. So, if you find yourself craving for frogs, stay safe and go for the good old-fashioned deep-fried frog legs. Number 8, Cassava. Not really as exotic as other inclusions in this list, but still quite dangerous, perhaps the most dangerous considering the toxin contained within it. Cassava also referred to as yucca or manioc or tapioca to US Americans, has become a popular flour alternative for making gluten-free bread. Cassava is a starchy root that flourishes in the tropical climates of Central and South America. It also flourishes in the Caribbean and West Africa. But it's more familiar to Americans and it's dried in powdered form tapioca. The plant is dangerously toxic when consumed raw because it contains synergetic glucose, which triggers the release of hydrogen cyanide. There have been many documented deaths from eating this lethal root. In 2005, 27 children died, while 100 others were hospitalized from eating improperly prepared cassava roots at their school. Although most cassava poisoning incidents are easily treatable, the nearest hospital from the school was 30 kilometers away, making immediate treatment impossible. Cassava should be soaked in fermented for at least a day before it's cooked. But some sweet varieties of cassava inherently contain cyanogen glucose and are safe to eat after simply cooking them thoroughly. But be careful which one you choose. Number 7, Casamasa. The most dangerous cheese in the world, Casamasa, is an Italian delicacy defined by its illegal status in the maggots that infested customers from the Italian island of Sardinia, located in the Mediterranean Sea. If that isn't horrifying enough, you're supposed to eat this. Tradition holds that once the maggots are dead, the cheese is unsafe to eat. The risk of eating maggots alive is that they may go burrowing into your stomach, which can cause a condition called enteric dialysis. This involves severe stomach cramps and nausea. Once ingested, the maggots can pass through the human stomach without dying because sometimes stomach acids aren't enough to kill them. In that case, the maggots may take a residency in the intestines for some time. They can cause serious lesions and bore through intestinal walls, resulting in abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. Due to the blatantly obvious health implications, the European Food Safety Authority has banned the cheese. Therefore, those wishing to eat some casamasa must go through the Italian black market. Number 6, Blood Clams. 
So, they got their name because they have a red hemoglobin liquid inside their soft tissues. These clams are found throughout the Indo-Pacific region. They are a delicacy, but they're pretty dangerous, especially if you eat them in certain spots in Shanghai where they have been banned since 1988. Blood clams or blood cockles were responsible for a hepatitis A outbreak in Shanghai in 1988 when more than 300,000 people were infected and 31 died. Aside from that, experts say that 14 to 16 percent of people who eat blood clams contract hepatitis, and they say that the tainted blood clams come from Dongle in neighboring Gansa province. There is a high prevalence of hepatitis A in some places where the clams are raised with the water polluted by sewage. The preparation in Shanghai involves quick boiling them, which can leave behind deadly viruses and bacteria, including hepatitis, typhoid, and dysentery. Number 5, Hakarl. Fermented shark hakarl is a rotten shark, as people often refer to it as quite possibly the most famous dish in Iceland. The fermentation of shark meat can be traced back to the Viking Age. But this outlandish act of preserving food was just one of many steps Icelanders took to make sure they had enough to go on throughout the year. Today, fermented shark or cashier mackerel, as it is called in Icelandic, is simply a way for Icelanders to stay in touch with their roots and ancestry. However, some still consider it a delicacy, and will go to real lengths to get their hands on some good proper hakarl. This is because the matter is disassociated. The scent is what makes it such a challenge to swallow. The craziest fact about the Icelandic fermented shark is that the Greenland shark, which is the prime meat used to produce it, is poisonous while fresh. This is due to a high content of urea and methylamine oxide in the shark system caused by its utter lack of a urinary system. The shark releases urine throughout its bloodstream and tissues, which is considered a very primitive way to dispense. This showcases how little the development of sharks has been over the last 300 million years. Fermenting the meat does make it safe to eat, but if not properly fermented, you're going to get an extremely bad case of food poisoning. Number 4, Live Octopus. When trying to eat something, one excellent rule to follow is to make sure that the animal you're eating is cooked or at least dead. Never put something in your mouth that is still alive. But somehow this logic isn't being followed. In certain parts of South Korea and Japan, consuming live octopuses can kill you. But it's not because the octopus can still fight back. Sanachi is a Korean specialty of live octopus tentacles seasoned with sesame oil and seeds. This dish is particularly treacherous because the suction cups on the tentacles are still active and can stick to the mouth or throat when swallowed, making it a real choking hazard. In April 2010, a South Korean woman collapsed and stopped breathing after eating a live octopus and died in the hospital. Six days later, her boyfriend was convicted of murder, but eventually got the conviction overturned by the Supreme Court, which was told that this exotic food can end up killing someone. So, it's best to stay away from this one. Number 3, Monkey Brains. Eating ox brains is one thing, although having dangers within itself is something of a guilty pleasure of some people. But I can't imagine the brains of another primate. No, it's not because of the zombie connotation or cannibalism part, it is because eating monkey brains can figuratively turn you into a monkey. Consuming the nerve tissues of mammals can be a health hazard, but eating the brain is especially dangerous. This is because it can lead to transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, also known as prion diseases or degenerative brain diseases. These diseases can progress rapidly and are often deadly. But before you ask who in their right mind would eat a freaking monkey brain? There are records of some cultures doing so. Monkey brains have been coached as an ingredient in the dishes of some Chinese imperial cuisine. For instance, Paul Burrell, the former butler of Princess Diana, claims he served monkey brains on banana leaves and coconut palms to one of their visits. However, it is still debated and difficult to substantiate whether live monkey brains were one of the items in the Qing Dynasty Manchu Hot Imperial Feast or not. Also, the Anyang trade practices, a tradition in which a new tribal chief would consume the brain of a gorilla while another senior member of the tribe would eat the heart. Number 2, the Rambutan. Rambutan is a fruit native to Southeast Asia. It grows in a tree that can reach up to 80 feet in height and thrives best in tropical climates such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. It got its name from the Malay word for hair because of the golf ball-sized fruit as a hairy red and green shell. Its unmistakable appearance is often compared to that of a sea urchin. The fruit is related to the league in Logan fruits and has a similar appearance when peeled. It's translucent. 
The white flesh is a sweet yet creamy taste and contains a seed in its middle. It's also rich in vitamin C, a nutrient that helps your body absorb dietary iron more easily. This vitamin also acts as an antioxidant, protecting your body's cells against rambutan. Eating 5 to 6 rambutan fruit will meet 50% of your daily vitamin C eats. Rambutan also contains a good amount of copper, which plays a role in the proper growth and maintenance of various cells, including those of your bones, brain, and heart. So, given all that, is rambutan a dangerous fruit to eat? Not in the slightest, unless you tend to swallow seeds. Rambutan seeds are huge and swallowing them would block air passages and choke you out. And finally number one, the pufferfish. Remember when I talked about the fugu fish? Well, let's get some flashbacks in here with some delectable types of seafood available. It's curious why anyone would pay hundreds of dollars a year to fish that is so dangerous. There are several species of pufferfish proportions. Of all of them, especially the livers, contain tetrodotoxin, a toxin 1200 times more deadly than cyanide. To be certified to prepare pufferfish known as fufu in Japan, whereas most often serve, the chef must go through special training that can last up to three years. So much training to handle a fish that can kill me? Not my favorite choice. So that's it for today's video. Which dangerous foods are you willing to try yourself at your own risk? And what do you think of our today's list? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.